Hello everyone, welcome to Drunken Sailors Brew and Barbecue. Getting ready to make some hot sauce. Now we got uh, the chimney is smoking and not ready to fire up yet, but pretty close. And over here, we've got some peppers. Now for this uh, hot sauce here, we're going to be uh, using some jalapenos, some chilies, serranos. Uh, what else we got in there? Uh, I don't know, some banana pepper, a whole bunch of different peppers. Uh, over here we got some garlic and uh, some scallions. And yes, that is the Steelers. Uh, some vinegar, both apple cider and some regular distilled, a little olive oil, uh, some uh, hot sauce of your choice. Molasses, I chose the uh, black strap kind. A little more astringent, hard licorice kind of taste to it. Some uh, smoked paprika and some salt and uh, some water too will be going in the uh, the sauce so okay so to start we're going to uh, cut up these peppers habaneros some uh, serranos like I mentioned uh, we're going to seed these at least most of them anyways maybe not all but most of the heat is really not actually in the seeds. The capsaicin coats the seeds. And there we go, just a little there. I'm not worried about getting every little seed out. You can see just a quick little strip and kind of move on. Serranos, a little stubborn. There we go. Oop. Okay, now I'm not going to bore you with uh, stripping out all of these peppers, so what we'll do is move on. You get the idea. Oh, cut right up. And as always, don't forget the beer. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, we've got all the peppers cut up. Very nice. And uh, as a reminder, after playing around with these peppers, you certainly don't want to be touching your eyes or open wounds. Or anything like that because if you do uh, well you're kind of an idiot and you shouldn't be playing with peppers or knives or beer or fire for that matter so uh, with that being said we're gonna move on and we've got our peppers cut up so what we're gonna do is add a little olive oil and let's see oh yes and some garlic cloves da -da 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 -da. Well, oh, garlic. We're gonna we're gonna be using more of those. So just kind of whoop, give this a stir. Okay, and we've got our fire ready. So uh, they've all been deseeded for the most part. And now what we're gonna do is uh, get ready to throw these on the fire. See if I can do this. Over here, yeah, we're yeah, we're a little pushing 250. It's right where I want to start. What we've got is an indirect heat going. Uh, we're gonna be doing this uh, with a little bit of hickory. Yeah, here we go. Right on. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, kind of spread these out a little bit. And okay, that's looking good. Also, these scallions right here will be going on the grill as well. Look at that, huh? Wow, that looks good. All right, I think we may need a little more garlic. Just a couple pieces. Never have enough garlic. All right, spread them out a little bit. 
Now, there we go. Look at that, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Almost forgot. Beer. Okay. Anyways, so here we are on the grill. Indirect, a little bit of hickory. Uh, we're at 250. It's going to pump up to about 300 when it's all said and done. And we're going to want to go for about a half an hour or so, which is just enough time to get some of the honeydew list completed before the wife comes home. All right, I think we're about ready. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Oh my, those are looking good. Uh, I did move the scallions over. I gave it a stirring while we were gone. And uh, let's see. What we're gonna do is one more quick stir. Oh yeah, these are completely done. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our trusty bowl here peppers little spatula Let's see what happens move all these over smells so good we got some scallions, habaneros, serranos, some, uh, some bell pepper in there, some chilies, a little olive oil, and uh, actually I think what would be, there we go, some garlic, whole pieces of garlic cloves. Oh yeah. Now, just kind of those up. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Look at that, huh? Okay. I'm going to set those down. Ugh. Now, let me get situated and we'll be right back. Okay, we've got all our uh, peppers and the scallions and garlic uh, barbecued up. Uh, uh, smells absolutely great. We're going to uh, do, I've done a couple of uh, lemons and some limes, about 50-50, we're about a half cup total. Uh, so we're going to do one more of each. And squeeze this in here. I'm missing pieces to the juicer, so this is making this a little bit more difficult, but that's all right. There. Day you do it! Day! Day! Yep, Jason cheering me on. Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay, some lime. About 50-50, once again, with the lemons and the uh, limes. Okay, I can't see your head. There we go. Alright, now, what we're going to do, bring over the old trusty processor. Get this out of the way. Uh, get that out of the way these out of the way. Now, here we go. We're going to add the lemon and lime juice. I'm going to add our peppers and scallions. Kind of overdid this processor, but we'll see what its capabilities are. Now, I'll do a little bit of salt. Not that much. There we go. Stop. A little bit of your favorite hot sauce. Hot sauce. A little bit of smoked paprika. Smoked paprika? Yeah, you say smoked paprika? Can I smell it? Yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. Gotta go with the smoke. Yeah, a little bit more. Come on, get out of there. It's not coming out. Can you put it? There we go. 
All right. And a little bit of molasses, a couple teaspoons. What is that? Molasses. You can't taste it? It's white chocolate. Whoop, easy. It's white Careful. chocolate, Daddy. All right, now we're going to go with one cup oh, oh. of vinegar. I will, I and will I'm going 50-50. Can I pour it in? With the white. Can I pour it in? Yep, you can pour this in. Okay. 50-50 white and apple cider. Go ahead, kid. How many? Keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, stop. Perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Can I do it? Nope. Please. I don't know how to All right, all right, fine. There we go. Can I do it? Pour it in there. We got one cup of uh, vinegar, which is 50-50 apple cider, 50-50 white vinegar. Excellent. And we're going to go about one cup of water. One cup of water? Here. I will do it. He's going to do it. Go ahead. Pour it in there. Nice. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Set that aside. And oh, you know what? what? When it, you know what we all, you know what we forgot? Yeah. Right here. What's this? Whoop beer. The beer. The beer. Let me. No, 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 no. That's only for Daddy. A little bit of beer. All right. Now. Yeah. Ooh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, we've got our smoked paprika, hot sauce, molasses, garlic, beer, salt, peppers, all kinds of stuff. We've given it a zap once. Let's do it again. Now that is good and emulsified. Now, take a taste. That is good. <coughs> We're gonna pour this in dispensing container. Whoop, there we go. Watch out for the blades. Alright. And now we're gonna put this in some jars to be jarred. Uh, if you don't know how to can or jar, then um, well go look up a video on canning or jarring and figure it out. And that'll tell you. But uh, I'll tell you what, this stuff's got some bite, a little bit more than I thought it was going to have, to be honest with you. And that should about do it right there. Oh, perfect. There we go. And this will be for tonight. So, let that go. Actually, we're going to top these off. Excellent. And a uh, Oh, that's perfect amount. And there you have it. Drunken Sailor's Hot Pepper Sauce. Fresh off the grill. Nice and smoked and roasted. And uh, all the peppers, by the way, have been grown locally. Purchased at the local farmer's market. Drunken Sailor, signing off. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them below. And have a good day. Bye-bye.